Hey folks, it's Autumn from the blog thetraditionallife.com and today I am going to be showing you how to make butter from cream in a stand mixer. A lot of people don't realize that you can make your own butter from raw cream or you can just go to the grocery store and buy 35% cream or it's also called a whipping cream and you can quickly and easily make butter in your own kitchen. Now, longer ago, people used to use butter churns, but today we have the convenience of electric mixers, things like a KitchenAid, or of course, in my kitchen, I love and use the Bosch. So today I'm gonna walk you through this process. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes from start to finish. So let's dive in and let me show you how to make your own homemade butter. The very first thing I'm gonna tell you to do, apart from sourcing your cream, is to let it come up to room temperature before you try making butter. This will cut your churning time in half. It goes way faster when your cream is warm. And this is true of whether you're just making a whipped cream for a dessert or if you're actually trying to make butter. So bring it out, let it sit out at room temperature. You can leave it out overnight if you wanna make your cream in the morning, but you wanna give it a couple hours. That accomplished, your cream can go directly into your mixer. Now, I like to use the Bosch for this because it has a lid cover. Initially, you don't need to worry about splatters, but actually, as your fats start to separate, as your butter separates from the buttermilk, it's going to start splattering all over your kitchen. So, if you have a kitchen aid, you're going to want to drape a clean kitchen towel over the machine to help contain the splatters. And with the Bosch, you have a lid, you can just pop into place and it's very easy. And then we are just going to turn it on to low. You don't need things to be fast or furious, just a gentle paddling will help break it up. Now, I've never used a KitchenAid mixer for this, so there, I'm guessing with the KitchenAid mixer, it has a very low speed. I just know from friends and family who have used them. So you might wanna put a KitchenAid up to medium, but for the Bosch, just the first low level is perfect. It will take about five-ish minutes for a quart of cream to turn nice and fluffy. And this is actually the first step in the process is you just make whipped cream. It's gonna get really thick and you just wanna keep your machine running. So eventually you're going to start seeing it go a little bit grainy and then it's going to very quickly turn into butter. You're gonna see little lumps of fats. Those fats are gonna collect around your wire whisk and it's going to suddenly become butter floating in butter milk. So once the clumps have come and you have this golden butter sticking to your wire whisk, it's time to turn the machine off. And I like to put a colander over a bowl. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is just what I prefer. I will put a bowl underneath a colander and pour the buttermilk. Yes, that's the liquid you have in the bottom of your stand mixer is buttermilk. And you can use that for all kinds of things in your baking. So. Pour that through the colander, catch the buttermilk in the bowl below, and you can pour that into a jar and just put it in the fridge. Makes great biscuits, pancakes, all those sort of country breakfast foods. Buttermilk is wonderful in them. Refrigerate it and then come back. Butter will actually spoil faster if you leave buttermilk in it. So there's gonna be some liquid trapped in the butter. So what you wanna do is turn your kitchen sink, the tap onto cold, as cold as it will go, and then you're just going to rinse and work your butter underneath. I actually like to let the water just run over the butter for a little bit to chill it and make it firm so that it's not greasy all over my hands and then I will mash it and work it from there. And as you can see in this video, that sort of cloudy water underneath of my butter here, that's buttermilk that has been rinsed out. You don't need to worry about rinsing your butter away as long as you use cold water. Cold water will just make the fats cling and stick together and you can work it and rinse out all the excess buttermilk 
so that your butter will store and it will last longer in the freezer if you do that. Now, you don't have to salt your butter if you don't want to. I prefer it salted, so it takes a very tiny amount of salt to give you a salty flavor in your butter. So very conservatively sprinkle it on tiny little bit by bit by bit and taste test your butter until you're happy with the salt levels in it. You're probably going to lose a little bit more moisture as well. Salt is good at drying out moisture. So go ahead and flick that off as you go. Um, work your butter above the plate, whatever, whatever works for you. But once that salt is incorporated, your butter is actually ready to be packed into a mold. Now you can buy actual butter molds if you want. I actually just use a teacup. It's kind of a traditional old fashioned way to go, but you pack your butter into your teacup, you put it in the freezer, and then when it's ready, you just run it under hot water real quickly to melt it, and that pat of butter will fall out. Once your butter has come out of the molds, I actually like to wrap it up in cling wrap or some sort of bag, and then I actually like to put it in the freezer unless I know I'm gonna go through it right away, and if, in that case, it can go in the fridge for a couple weeks. Usually, my butter in the fridge doesn't last for a couple weeks because I love using it in the kitchen, in baking and cooking and spreading on home-baked goods. But that is how you make butter from cream in a stand mixer. Now, if you have comments or questions, leave them below. I have all the resources I use linked down below, as well as a tutorial over on the blog that you can go to for more detail on how to make butter from cream using a stand mixer. All right, folks, thanks for joining me, and we will see you next time.